Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and happy 2012, everybody, and welcome to the first video of the year. This is actually a continuation of the last video where I created view representations inside an Autodesk Inventor assembly. Now, I'm going to take those representations and place them on a drawing. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have the carburetor I used in the last video, and I have two view representations I've created. Blue anodized and polished aluminum, and you can see how those changes are affecting the model. Now if I go to the drawing, I can go ahead and place those views on a drawing. I create a base view like I would any old way, but now if I look at the screen here where I'm moving my mouse, you can see we've got a blue anodized and a polished aluminum needle uh, that are showing up in my representation screen. I also have this little chain link right here, and if I check that, that associates the view to the model representation. So if the representation changes, it will affect the model. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to place this needle on the screen. Once that needle's on the screen, I can go ahead and see how the colors and the visibilities are affected. Let's go ahead and repeat that for the blue anodized portion with the carburetor body. So we'll go ahead and place that on the screen. And now we've got both of those showing. So now we can see how they've added their information to the drawing, but let's go ahead and make some changes and see how those affect things. So I'm going to return back to my model, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my polished aluminum needle representation, and I'm going to unlock it. Now that it's unlocked, I'm going to go ahead and turn the carburetor visibility on and add that part to the view rep. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the carb body, and I'm going to change the color now, and instead of blue polished like I had before, I'm going to go ahead and go to, let's say, blue C, and just have a different look. Maybe this represents a different finish, for example. Now I'll go ahead and lock the view, freezing it again in that state, and now I'll return back to the drawing, and the drawing will update with that information. So you can see how you can use that to manage views. It's definitely something I think you can take a look at and see how it can help you. Anyway, that's it for this video, and again everybody, I hope you have a great 2012.